Hello, this is Johnny Moneto, World of Warships. I know I'm not uploading anything to YouTube for several weeks and now two videos in short time. Wonderful times, huh? Today it's the Iowa. It's a ranked battle. Iowa, I hardly ever play battleships. And let's have a look. Oh, Iowa, isn't she a beauty? The stars and stripes camouflage. I think this is more than appropriate. That's why I chose this one. And also because it has pretty good values and I'm grinding Iowa towards Montana. For the first time. No research bureau. I'm doing this for the first time. I'm not much of a battleship player. Uh, I usually rather play um, destroyers and cruisers. Also, I'm usually not much of a careless or carefree player that just plays a little bit around for fun. I'm uh, very often thinking a lot during the game. It doesn't always help, but um, yeah, I, I try to look at the map, what's going on. I try to overthink the battle. I, uh, you know, I'm, I also look at my teammates. I try to complement their actions. I try to, to help them if, if I think it's necessary to help them, blah, blah, blah. Right now, this battle, not only this battle, but also this battle, I just didn't care. It's ranked. I'm just grinding. I'm just here for the XP. And I enjoy doing this in a pure, in this case, tier 9 environment. Could have been also tier 8s, but no tier 10s because it's ranked. It's guaranteed. It's the Silver League. And uh, yeah, it's just for fun. You know, I just want to have some fun. Even though I'm already giving some tips to Öster Jödland here next to me. Please don't YOLO in. Uh, stay alive. Stay with me. Because... Um, as a battleship, uh, well, you can go to, on this map, you can go to the BCAP and support your Öster Jutland. But I'm already tired of this because you go there, then it's a standoff duel, blah, blah, blah. And very boring. No, I want to have some fun. I want to stay here a little bit more. I'm, I'm staying inside of the islands. Let's put it this way. We already spotted two battleships on the other side. Wow. So I know that I might be playing against two battleships here. And there's something in sea, so there's also possibly a destroyer there. Let's pretend it's a destroyer. And there's something in A. Possibly another destroyer. Yeah, it's a Jutland. Okay, I have... Still, I'm, I'm here on the inside. Because in case there is somebody sneaking up to the central part of the cap. Let's just pause this here and I'll show you what I mean. Here, if somebody's sneaking up here, I want to be able to punish them. And that's why I'm already standing here. This island is blocking a little bit, but, you know, depending on where the people are, where the players appear, I want to be able to put some shots into them. And I don't want to do it like the Georgia and Iowa do it here, like like just standing here, but I want to be aggressive. I want to be more aggressive. I have escape routes and if if these two come around here, I can I can go here around here into this cap and then defend them. I can still do the boring part or uh, yeah, I have the option to actually go here or I have the option to push through here in the middle. So I have a lot of options here, depending on the composition of the enemy team. But my guns are trained to the port. Jutland, not yet. Georgia gave a nice broadside earlier, but I didn't want to review my location. So I held my shots. Georgia is spotted again this time. Ah, uh, Well, I cannot resist. That's such a nice, easy shot here. <laughs> Shetland, okay. Georgia, how are the shots? Kaboom! 24k, yeah. Well, that that's nice. <laughs> I guess I can't complain, because that was only the front guns. Oh, black here on the right side, Jutland on the left side. I'll, I'll shoot the Jutland. Let's see what we can do here. I just want to have fun, yeah? Remember. But having fun doesn't mean you have to play like a moron. You can also try to do intelligent things. The black is going to the inside. Ah, he got spotted, possibly by our Yugomo, and aborted his attempt to push through. Also gets shot at already. Great, all right. So they're exchanging fire. Ah, maybe it's two destroyers versus one. That's why he's leaving there. I wanted to actually go on the inside here, but this Iowa coming around the corner a little bit earlier than I hoped it's better that I angle in because I don't want to give her the broadside and receive the same treatment that I've given the Georgia. So I angle in towards here. I'm perfectly safe from any black torpedoes. 
that's not an issue because there's plenty of island cover in between. But uh, yeah, the black thinks now it's a good idea smoking up and farming me. All right. At this point of the battle, I have so much health, I really don't care. It's just, I'm, I'm just laughing that off. Another salvo for the Iowa. Let's see how that goes. And I reverse slowly. Ah, only ricochets, yeah, not, not high enough. Okay. So I think about coming out here and saying hello to Lion, but then I don't know where the Georgia is. At this moment, I don't know where the Georgia is. And we spot the Iowa here, so maybe I stay here. And if she just tries to push through, then we will give her a good greeting. Otherwise, maybe we can pinpoint her here and then we have two destroyers and then the destroyers can do something about her. So it's a good idea to stay here. Maybe I'm advancing a little bit too fast here. Let's put on the brakes. But then I see the Iowa is turning in and we spot the Georgia in the middle. Ha! Huh. There you go. Th this is very decisive. Um, Iowa is turning in towards the island, so she's not coming around here like, like in, sorry, like an idiot. <laughs> and uh, at the same time, I spot, uh, or somebody spots the Georgia. I think it's our Uster Jutland getting the spot here on the Georgia. So I was worried a little bit because I had no idea where the Georgia went. Could have, could have been anywhere here or here. And that would have been maybe not so nice for me. Um, so I make a decision here because I wanted to, I don't, didn't want to camp here. I actually wanted to go forward and do something about the battle. I wanted to exert a central position to have some fun, right? Um, and I see an opportunity that I can do this because you can see here, these battleships here are in a line. And if I want to angle my armor against them, I just have to angle exactly here in this line. So that's very easy. Yeah, I can... I can angle against both battleships at the same time. If the Iowa is coming around here, my goal is to try to get into a position in some way that I can angle against the Iowa when she comes from the aft, that I can show her a small silhouette, maybe a, like a 20 degree angle only, and at the same time angle towards the front here to these battleships, right? Should be possible. I'm not so much worried about the black for some reason. I don't know. I'm just not. Uh, the torpedoes are so slow. I'm, I'm just not worried about the black. We'll, we'll see how it goes when we get there. That's a short battle only. Did I mention that already? Doesn't take so long. Because I want to have fun. Okay, we come around. The Georgia is giving great broadside to me. However, I'm also giving good broadside to the Georgia. The only difference between us is that I'm looking at her while she doesn't look at me because of course i come from cover and that's the next citadel on the georgia and another good volley that's the second time i catch her the return volley is good for zero damage yeah the 297 was from the secondary so now i'm putting pressure on the georgia she cannot push through she has to angle against me but you notice the smoke clouds and there are some small shots coming out of the smoke yeah, I guess. Destroyers here. One or two. Maybe Hugo Mo and Jutland. Maybe only Jutland. I shoot here. And there we go. There's a Jutland coming. Lion shoots at me. Yeah, why not? You can all have a go at me. I'm a battleship. That's that's what I'm here for. I want to have fun. This is the situation I wanted to be in. I'm angled. The Iowa... Ah, oh, the black is spotted on my, uh, my stern. Great. But I want to now evade these torps from the Jutland. And there they are. Somebody s put something on the Georgia, some damage. And we say welcome to the Jutland. I guess that was not the best volley. I didn't aim very well, but it was good enough. So she's dead. Wait, 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 wait. What happened here? <laughs> what is this? That's an escalation of things that are happening. So uh, you see, Donskoy killed Georgia. I killed... Jutland, Yugomo killed Iowa, Black in return killed Yugomo. That's all happened very fast. Let's let's go back in time <laughs> and see that again. Because here they're all still alive, you see that. So the, the Iowa has somehow, I, I think he, he had to quit the game. Either he had a disconnect and that's why his ship steered into the island or he had some real life business and just put his ship into the island and then didn't react anymore. So I think the Iowa is actually AFK here already. So let's watch again 
the Georgia, the Jutland, and the Black. Because I can't see the Georgia anymore. But here she gets killed by the Donskoy, here I kill the Jutland, and here is the Iowa is dead and the Black kills the Yugomo in return. And this happens all very quickly. Escalation! <laughs> And one thing I learned about these rank battles, yes, 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 is that if you play professionally, like in clan battles, they're over way too fast. There's a lot of people that do some strange things and you don't have the time to play properly here. You, that's why I changed a little bit. I just want to have fun, right? That's why I went inside. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Here it seemed to have worked. Is that the black again from the stern? Again farming me? Jesus Christ. I'm still laughing about that. Seriously, so what do I do now? Oh, Hugo moves very far away. We see her 16 kilometers distance, so I don't have to worry about these torps. What can we do here? My plan is very simple. I go for the lion while shooting at the Seattle. Oh, Seattle disappears. Well, never mind. The one word about the lion, and you can rewind the video if you like to. I will not do it here, but one word about the lion. When you start as a battleship on this map, this is your spawn position, right here where the mouse is. This is one spawn position, here is the other spawn position, and here is the third spawn position. So I guess this guy started basically where he's at now, and his bow is just turned around a little bit. Honestly, this person, this player, he just managed to get this line like here. He was briefly spotted in like this position, and now he reversed back here, and now he's here. He's playing his bow, uh, lion bow on all the time. The entire battle, just sitting there. Two battleships already gone, the battle is almost over and he's still sitting in his spawn playing bow on. I have absolutely no remorse. I just want to take this guy out. So the plan here is to shoot the Seattle and ram the lion, right? I don't care about the black, I don't care about the Yugomo. So I will ram the lion. I don't need a lot of HP for that, so I don't really worry about my HP too much. I just need to be able to survive long enough so that I can actually ram him. But I only need one HP for successful ram. But I'm waiting for the Seattle, because the Seattle wants to make an appearance. The Seattle sees that I'm about to crash the lion into pieces with my bow, with my mighty American bow. And the Seattle wants to prevent that, so she wants to interfere. She's going to make an appearance. You want to interfere, Seattle. You want to appear now. You want to be visible on screen because you want to do something about it. There she is. Great, we talked her into it. And my guns were already aimed almost precisely at the correct spot. I think I shot a little bit too early. I didn't expect him to show full broadside here otherwise i would have waited one more second also i aimed a little bit too high i think so it was not a devastating strike but i don't care i'm having fun I'm already a hundred thousand damage no problem almost so while trying to pursue the lion which is uh, now uh, already backing up for a long time i will take another salvo and is this going to be enough seattle <gasps> yes so, this part of the plan is already good, but wait, 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 the Yugomo is dead, the black is dead? I didn't notice that at this moment. I, I noticed the black already died, but the Yugomo got killed in between. And the torps from the Z46, wait, again, again, I know. Anticlimatic, right? Because we're almost finished with the battle. But um, just one more thing I want to point out, and we have to go back in time a little bit. The whole thing here with the Seattle, I mean, I was waiting so long for the Seattle to appear. Oh, we go back in time, we go back in time here. I waited so long for the Seattle to appear, I had a lot of time to think about the situation. And I see that my Z46 is coming here to help me. Now, now we dive into the deep, deep thought process of World of Warships. You see the lion here? It's got a maximum health of 67... 1900 HP, right? And right now has 59,000 HP. I do not have, I want to ram this guy. I do not have a ram flag signal hoisted. If that player does have a ram flag signal hoisted, I can only kill him if this player has a maximum of 80% of this 
HP number. So this on the left side must be no more than 80% of this value. This is how the RAM flag signal works if only one party has it installed. And for sure I don't. So um, yeah, I need, I need his HP to be lowered a little bit. But I really, I, I mean, I really thought about this. I really looked at him and I thought, am I going to shoot him? But then I thought, nah, you know what? Even if I don't kill him, somebody else can kill him. I will just take a lot of HP from him, but I want to kill the Seattle. I don't want to give the Seattle the satisfaction that he can interfere from the side without being punished, right? But then the Z46 comes in and is eager to, to help me. And then I think, you know what? Probably the Z46 will launch torpedoes at some point, And it's just enough that one or two torps hit and then I can kill him. Uh, it's just important that I don't give this guy too much time to hit his repair button and, and regain enough health. So I'm already calculating my Z46 in when I do this. Here was the time where I still do some magic... Uh, work on the Seattle that I tell him that he wants to commit himself in, in interfering in this battle and there he is but just have a look that in, in a moment after shooting here and after watching the result of the volley I will briefly look to the right and I'm watching if my Z46 is torping I don't know if you noticed that in the first run through we're coming closer there and uh, well, I guess I take the second volley first. No, I'm watching here. This quick look over the shoulder before I actually shoot. I was looking if the torps are already on the way. And I'm slowing down because I don't want to interfere with the torps. I'm doing this on purpose. And here they are. First launcher. Looking good. Second launcher. Actually, here I think that the Z46 will take the kill from me. But it's... A lot, but not quite enough. And now I can just go ahead and... Boom! <laughs> I ram him. Rightfully so. Because that guy sat bowing in the spawn all the time. And really, I don't think this is the way you should play this game. So I don't want to shame anybody here, but sorry, my friend. I have absolutely no regrets taking your life like this. That was the plan for several seconds, and that plan was executed rather nicely. I had a lot of fun. 121,000 damage, great. High caliber, I don't give a crap anymore because no achievements, no, no rewards. So what do I care about achievements, right? We had this already in the last video. Yeah, I was doing fine. I had fun. I got some kills. Nice victory. And I enjoyed myself. I thoroughly enjoyed this game in a battleship, which doesn't happen too often. Maybe I should play more often with this kind of attitude that I just go in there and I have fun. Not like a moron, not totally without thinking, but if I see an opportunity, if I see an opening, uh, you know, at the end of the day, that's what a battleship really is for. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. That's Johnny Monedo. See you next time.